were at Chain Farm in Cambridgeshire, which is one of the test and trial facilities for one of our Innovate UK funded projects, Wellcar. One out of every two calves will have a disease such as scours or pneumonia in that first eight weeks of their life. WorldCalf uses sensors and cutting edge machine learning models to empower farmers with data-driven, actionable insights. So the components of the WorldCalf solution is first of all, a smart ear tag that goes on the calf's ear that monitors its activity, behavior, and temperature as well as information on the environment. The information from the tag is then stored and transmitted to one of our gateways, and the gateway connects that to the internet where we perform a series of analytics to identify those early signs of disease, alerting the farm via either the mobile app or our website. So both scours and pneumonia are, are really, unfortunately, all too common in uh, dairy calves. Pneumonia at this stage affects the animal all the way through its life, so uh, detection of pneumonia at this stage is absolutely crucial to the animal's future development. Pneumonia is our biggest threat to performance. It's very important for us to pick up issues very quickly so that we can deal with them quickly and it doesn't escalate into a far bigger problem. The early life of a calf or any young animal is really important for its uh, future health and welfare. If it gets very ill in its early life, it can damage the lungs or other parts of the body and then in some cases it never really recovers. Any impact during those early first four months will impact both the age at first calving as well as the lactation. And we know there's very strong statistics around that, that, that if we increase the age of first calving, the animals on the whole produce less milk and be called earlier. And WellCalf allows us to monitor them 24 hours a day to make sure that we spot any sign that they might be falling sick. These calves will show really quite subtle signs to start off with, particularly in a group situation. It's very difficult to see changes like slight drops in activity or increases in the animal temperature. In terms of stockmen, maybe feed calves twice a day, they're into the house twice a day and observing them. Infection can spread very quickly within a group of calves. The earlier we get those treated, the better chance of a successful outcome. And the other thing I often see when calves are sick, that it really can get the farmer down as well. It's quite labor intensive. You have to start treating those calves, checking those calves every day. And that leaves the unit a lot less efficient. And we have been really pleased to see how accurate the product is at not only identifying the C's, but making sure that it has shown signs before any clinical signs were there. It's benefiting us quite a lot actually. It really focuses you on looking for a particular animal that you might not have pulled out. We've been able to detect pneumonia at about 80% accuracy, which is significantly higher than what can be achieved on farms without such a solution. One thing that was very important for us was to have the WellCalf product independently validated. We wanted to see that it actually worked on a, a non-farm situation. So we carried out an independent validation study on the tags. So this involved comparing the Wisconsin health scores that we gathered from the visits to the alerts that were gathered from the ear tag. And we took rectal temperatures from all the calves as well as visual health scores, which was nasal discharge, eye discharge, and any signs of coughing. The Well Calf Project is a really good example of a consortium built project. Within the consortium, we have the technology company SmartBell, SRUC up in Scotland, we have Parkland Vets. We've tested across 24 commercial farms, including AgriEpi's own calf rearing facility in Crichton. AgriEpi has been uh, involved right from the beginning. They introduced us to one of the key partners, the Scottish Rural College. Coming from the research side, you understand how to assess things and the kind of theory behind it. But the industrial partners know, well, you know, what the farmers want, why you should be investing in, and also the technologies that can be developed in order to uh, assess these new indicators. We spent two years developing the WellCalf product, and we went from concept designs and just interviews with farms, 3D printing and using those on calves to test our initial concepts. And then we took that all the way through to working with Amy's 
building the housing and manufacturing the product here in the UK. We are the, uh, the injection moulders of all the plastic moulded components that go into product and we also assemble that product. There have been quite a number of technical challenges that we've, we've solved together and we've worked very closely together. There's been an awful lot of communication and collaborative working over the last two years. You know, a prime consideration is obviously the environment that the product was going to be used in, which is you know, outside, on a farm, so it needed to be very rugged and durable. We used dairy farms, we used beef rearing farms of different types as well as different breeds. It's incredible to actually see product come out of a production line from when we started some initial conversations and we just wanted to improve agricultural productivity, improve animal health, and now finally seeing that we have it in our hands and we can deliver our early promise to farms, it's incredible. We are immensely proud that we're making this product you know, here in the UK. We could not have done this without the input of farms. We've trialed several designs and they've helped us with feedback throughout the process on the robustness and reliability of the tag. In a practical sense, we need to see if new products work in an everyday environment. So it has been really important for us from day one when we started doing even just dummy plastic prototypes to see how a farm would interact with them. How would they put them on the calf? What things and features they wanted, like for example, they wanted to make sure that we had replaceable batteries. The tag is very easy to apply, you know, anybody that has tagged a normal identification tag, it's pretty much the same procedure as that. On the app front, we wanted to make sure that this app was easy to use. So currently calves are bred on a dairy farm and then they go to a rearer and then on to finishing units. There's very little data in, in, in terms of what the diseases are on those origin farms and what treatments they have received. And if you understand what's happened to that calf early in its life and have some data on it, then perhaps you can treat that calf differently or manage it in a certain way that promotes its health and welfare and its productivity. The system is actually really easy to use. I can have all the calves on my phone, any alerts, pings up, whatever I'm doing, I can see whether it's an orange, red alert. I can go out, check that calf. I know what pen it's in. I can score it, see if it needs jagged. Because it's live, it's updated every night. And they're getting real live information into their hand. On the weeks that I've managed to have a holiday or not been there, if I get a flag on the app, I will then text that ear tag number to one of the team. They will go in and look at it. So it gives me a bit more confidence and a bit more peace of mind. We can bring in data about the weights of the animal. We can also use anything that gets recorded about the treatments or their health and then push that into um, other apps. And it's not just sickness, you know, we're looking at it from a whole group point of view, so it might tally with other data we're looking at. So that gives us a really holistic view of everything that's happening with the animal's health, their environment, as well as their nutrition. The more information, the better with your young calves, particularly because the whole key for um, preventing these long-term impacts is getting in there as early as possible. We've been looking at carbon auditing, and that means you have to get the peak performance out of the herd at all times, and the well calf system really helps us with that. You can see whether we've made progress and whether we're actually helping, because ultimately what we're trying to do is prevent these things in the first place. If we're pinpointing those infected calves, we're fit to isolate them so there's less chance of that infection get established in that group. So this solution has really helped me because it's just meaning that I can get in there earlier and I can use more anti-inflammatories rather than stronger antibiotics. So we wanted to be targeting it to the animals that really do need it. Probably we'll need to use less medicines overall because we're not treating for longer periods of time. It's just an extra eye on things so it's not taking my job away from me but it's a tool that I can use. It's fit to pick up those subclinical sub cases that even the best stock man can miss. So the UKRI TFP funding has been instrumental in allowing us to develop this product. What's next is to get these on as many farms as possible and expand on all of these incredible resources that we have built. It's been amazing to see where we've gone from the beginning of this project to where we are now and it's a real game changer.